Hey, so coming up on this video, we're going to do some reviewing of the Cotman watercolour travel set. I travelled all the way to my back garden for this, it was a long journey. I've done some swashes, I've done some colour theory with the colour wheel, I've looked at a grid and that's right behind us, that's not the way, it's right behind me here. And I've also done some swashes which you can see in the background there as well, that's again there, <laughs> I can't do this camera thing. So essentially I then did a second painting after I went all the way down to the back garden. I did that with the three primary colours to see how my knowledge of colour mixing had improved. So let's get into the video. So as I said, I took everything out into the back garden that I received for the travelling kit, like as a well an exercise really to see what I would need and what I may have not thought of. So I'm there in the back garden and it's a really hot day. First thing that I notice, because I have very little experience of this, is that the paints dry out really quickly. So I do need to have, you know, uh, a lot of water there in the mixes when, I, when I'm doing this. I'd used minimal mixing as I went along. I utilised a pencil for the initial sketch and, and then um, ink followed by a wash and then I re-inked over the top because I felt like the wash went straight over the ink and sort of muddied it. I didn't have a lot of experience of this and it really looked to me as though it was very unrepresentational of the colours that I was trying to depict. And that's just because of my lack of knowledge of colour theory. Now I knew this before I even started this exercise but I wanted to see where I was and how I could improve from that. There was a little bit of mixing there but really not a lot at all. And yeah, the results show themselves from that first drawing. I then took myself inside and I wanted to learn much, much more. And as you can see, yes, I've got the camera right this time. This was the stuff that we did. So we, we also did the colour wheel, which I'll be popping up like magic. And doing the swashes, the colour wheel, slowly popping this grid into place really has been quite invaluable. What it's shown me is, you know, the amount of different colours that I can get from this 12 palette set. The earth tones like Burnt Umber and yeah, the, the, the earth tones that are there mixed with certain colours can give out an awful lot for natural landscapes and plant style colour shades that are there. So I think understanding the primary colours was and is very very important. There were a few colours that were quite difficult to get. Uh, the brown was one and that's just simply because of my knowledge around you know those three primary colours and obviously blue and yellow making a nice green texture but then to reach that brown tone by adding alizarian red was difficult just purely because of the heavy pigmentation or hue uh, if we we're talking about cotman paints was uh was much more powerful than it was in the other two paints the cadmium yellow and the solarium uh, blue so i found that i had to put far less of the alizarian uh red into that mix to get the types of brown tones and earth tones that I was looking for. But that's the purpose of this. It's actually learning that colour theory, what's happening around that colour theory, and also the types and uh, the amounts of water and how that differs from the light and dark textures that you can achieve. And of course the brush strokes as well. So this was an invaluable experience for me, just creating these and I don't, there's no regrets at all. It took hours, um, I think it took three hours for this thing um, over here to create it. And uh, the wash, not so much. The wash was, uh, yeah, this thing was, was, was much quicker. Um, but no less 
in terms of enjoyment because the experience wasn't just about um, wasn't just about learning the color theory but it was about learning the way in which they naturally blend and how that might improve as I go along and as I'm learning how to paint so these are all things by the way that I um, have learned or have started to learn from the Oliver Pyle um, uh, YouTube channel um, fantastic watercolorist and yeah he's he talks about how playing with paint on the papers that you're going to use is important because learning those blends and interactions and, and the actual yeah the mixing is is the most important thing of all and that's what I've I've started to get into so that I got on with that got that finished with and then I moved on to the final painting I used just the three primary colors for this and I mixed everything throughout in the hopes that we would get much better blending throughout less or no cauliflowering effect I think they call it um, like a cottled effect that you get from the paints but also just this smooth transition and blends across the painting itself and hopefully I achieved that and hopefully you would agree with that so please um, hit me up in the comments and let me know which of these two paintings do you actually like the most and yeah they're not masterpieces but they are definitely something that shows learning experience and hopefully you can get something from this too so I have found that doing the color mixing has really helped and this second painting that I've been through and created has given me yeah an absolute world of information to take forward with future paintings and hopefully um, yeah you you find this mildly entertaining and hopefully um, informative and please you know guys all the comments that I've had from recent videos I can't tell you how much I appreciate that all the likes and subscribes that I'm getting to the channel I really am enjoying this whole experience and so thank you ever so much for all of your support and I continue to make videos on a weekly if not bi-weekly basis and hopefully I'll see you very quickly on the next video so don't miss it like subscribe and ding the bell all those things that i'm supposed to say apparently and i'll see you really soon bye for now